What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So tonight I want to talk to you guys about desktop tearing and the NVIDIA proprietary driver. So for those of you who follow my channel, you know that I recently switched from an AMD or ATI graphics card over to an NVIDIA card love my new graphics card if you're interested in the model and my brief thoughts and even some installation uh, video uh, you can check out my last upload here on my youtube channel and check that out um, but you know one of the problems and i've actually encountered it since i've installed my nvidia card is desktop tearing now i didn't really have this issue too much when i was using my uh, ati card but i did experience it with this particular nvidia card now without getting all super geeky on you and telling you you know the technical term of what desktop tearing is i'll give you the real real simple explanation you know i've got full comp is running full compositing running here you know when you move this window around your desktop as you can see for me right now, it's a really nice smooth image. Things aren't really, um, things look pretty good when I move this. When, you're, when your desktop tears, this image becomes fragmented, okay? So as I'm moving the window, the image looks fragmented. Um, you'll notice it around the outside edges of, the, of whatever image that it is. Um, also when you're watching, for me especially, HD movies, you're going to notice it uh, in the actual movie, okay? So um, things are gonna fragment a little bit in the picture. That's the easiest way to describe what video tearing is. Um, but as you can see here, everything's running beautifully, no video tearing whatsoever, everything's really nice and smooth. So I've accomplished this um, by tweaking a few settings, um, some in Compiz and some in the NVIDIA settings as well. So I'll show you what I did in Compiz. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that all of these things need to be tweaked you know comp is and your nvidia settings in fact i'll show you the one setting that i really think fixed this whole thing but um, i think some of these other things will help your experience so if you're an xfce you can just go to settings and comp is uh, config settings manager if you're in another um, uh, desktop environment um, you know you're going to access that option a different way but here in here in the xfce that's how we do it so you're going to go to the general options tab here in comp is and you're going to switch over to the display settings, okay? Now, um, if you open up your NVIDIA settings as well, you're going to come down to where it says DFP-1. This is going to give you some general information about your display. You're going to see that I have a resolution of 1920 by 1080. I've got a really nice 27-inch LED monitor that I use. Right over here, my refresh rate. This is 60 hertz. Um, most of your modern monitors are going to be 60 hertz, unless it's a super, super high-end gaming monitor and it's going to be at a higher refresh rate, but most of them you're going to find are probably 60 hertz. So now that we have our refresh rate under the display settings in the under general options, you're going to uncheck uh, detect refresh rate, uncheck that option, and I usually double this number. So I went from 60 to 120. Also, down here where it says sync to vBlank, all right, make sure you enable that, okay? This vBlank option actually helps with desktop tearing. All right, so that's it for the comp is. Now when we come into the NVIDIA settings, I've tweaked a few things. Um, under OpenGL settings, where it says sync to vBlank, make sure that's, that's checked. Um, also under image settings, I have this set to high performance. Um, let's see, anti-aliasing. I also have, uh, again, this may not necessarily affect your desktop tearing, but these are some of my settings. I have uh, override application. I have it set to the maximum. Um, also for uh, uh, in a, in a, <laughs> anisotropic filtering, I have that set at the maximum. And I also have uh, texture sharpening set uh, as well. And if we come down to Power Miser, here's the one option that I really believe um, it plays the has the largest impact on video tearing aside from those v blank options making sure they're both um, enabled in comp is as well as um, the nvidia settings here um, this option is i think really plays a big role um, down here under preferred mode mine was set by default to adaptive okay that means it's going to when 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 the system's not at load or the graphics uh, processor is not at load, it's going to lower the clock speed, okay, down to a couple different intervals. Um, you know, I'm not on a laptop. Power consumption's not 
a big deal to me. It doesn't really matter to me, honestly. So I really want my experience to be running at maximum performance all the time. So because I'm not really concerned about battery power or, or power consumption, I'm going to set the preferred mode to prefer maximum performance. That's going to keep my GPU running at the highest possible clock speed as well as the memory clock um, possible. Okay, um, You know, my since changing that, um, it has increased the temperature a little bit um, by about, I don't know, I want to say three or four degrees Celsius. Um, so, you know, the temp's gone up a little bit, of course, because I'm running it at a higher clock speed, but honestly, nothing to really draw any type of concern. So, um, since I made those adjustments, um, I've noticed a huge increase in performance and absolutely zero video tearing on my desktop. I'm able to move, you know, my comp is windows around with absolutely no uh, video tearing whatsoever. Um, everything's very, very quick. And again, no video tearing, as you can see. Everything just instant, no video tearing. Especially the, un the most annoying for me was not only when I move windows around, because obviously you do that on a regular basis, but it was when I was watching HD movies especially during like a, a scene where there's a lot of images coming across uh, the screen really, really, really quickly, the video would tear and there'd be fragmentation. It was just super annoying. Um, I got this big, beautiful LED monitor here in my office, so occasionally I want to watch a movie either while I'm doing something on my, on my desktop or just in general. I may be relaxing in my office and I want, and I want to watch something. One of the things I don't want to have happen is um, during the HD playback, I, I, I don't want a bunch of tearing and, and video fragmentation on this beautiful monitor. It's just, it kind of defeats the purpose. It's annoying. So um, these settings have cured that problem for me. Zero, um, you know, zero desktop tearing. Everything looks perfect. Plays, um, video playback is beautiful. So hopefully these settings have helped you. Uh, and I know that, you know, hopefully there's a bunch of NVIDIA users out there on, a, on their Linux desktop that, you know, will make these adjustments and enjoy their Linux experience that much more when they're using their NVIDIA cards. So that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, that's my video. I'm still going to be working on my uh, next video, which is going to be how to set up Compiz and XFCE. I'm still using Manjaro Linux, um, Love and Life. So hopefully you guys are doing well and you're enjoying the, the videos that I'm putting out um, over the last few weeks. And um, until next time, we'll see you later.